Hey guys, what is happening? It's Krebs here, and it is time to get some Company of Heroes 2 campaign going! This is the moment that a lot of you have probably been waiting for. Company of Heroes 2 has been released yesterday, and I've already done a live stream of that launch event that I held on Twitch.tv. I'm going to include some of those highlights at the end of this video. I'm not going to make a separate one, I'm just going to put it at the end of this video to keep you guys a little bit entertained once you have watched this episode, which I'm going to be curtailing around actually completing the campaign. And I'm going to do every campaign mission as a separate video. So I'm sure if you watch other playthroughs or walkthroughs of various other games out there, it's going to be in that sort of format, but it's going to be Krebs's intake or Krebs's, uh, how, how, how do you put it? Krebs's take on the campaign. And so I, I guess, I guess, we might as well just jump on into it. Right, here we go, guys. Campaign. Now, we have uh, the option of choosing conscript, captain, and general. So, think of it easy, medium, intermediate, or hard. There's no point in playing one the easier or even the medium difficulty. Let's just go straight on into the most difficult one. And let's go ahead and begin it. Abramovich is average. Bliad, sukin sin. I come all the way from Moscow to this remote piss hole, and this is how you greet your old commanding officer. What do you want from me, Colonel? I wanted to show you something. Recognize this? What you wrote on these pages could condemn a man several times over. But before that happens, comrade, first I need to know the truth. Okay, so apparently uh, we're getting into the story of Company of Heroes 2. Who would have thought that Company of Heroes 2 uh, RTS would have a story behind it, but... Apparently it does. And we're going to be following this one guy, I can't even remember the name now, Ikavonovich. We'll get the proper name, the correct pronunciation as we go on. But uh, it looks like he's being... He's, he's, in the, he's in the piss hole at the moment, as the commander of the colonel likes to say it. Alright, he's not in a good shape. Uh, right, so first mission, Stalingrad Rail Station. Let's go ahead and read this because I don't want to skip it over and just, you know, pretend like, oh yeah, there's going to be boring stuff and let's just do the all the action. Let's actually get a hold of the story here. So Germany and the USSR signed a pact of non-aggression before the invasion of Poland in 1939, but their alliance would be short-lived. In the summer of 1941, Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, 
ordering 4 million German soldiers to invade the Soviet Union across a front spanning 3,000 kilometers. Wow. During the first months of Barbarossa, Stalin and his generals struggled to mount a defense, but soon the Ge Germans had pushed too far into a vast nation protected by a massive army in a hostile winter. By the fall of 1942, the German army had reached Stalingrad, now Volgograd, but the city was far from defenseless. Lev Isakovich, there we go, met thousands of conscripts on the shores of the Volga River, where he ushered them into the besieged city. The Red Army and Navy and the whole Soviet people must fight for every inch of Soviet soil, Fight to the last drop of blood for our towns and villages. Onward to victory. From Joseph Stalin. Alright, here we go, guys. So, we're going to be following Lev Isakovich. Um, who I imagine must have been some sort of officer. If he was uh, leading thousands of conscripts on the shoreline. Was he a journalist or something? Or Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Probably be so much easier to just uh, read the proper story. But uh, maybe it's a bit enticing or exciting to uh, find ourselves. Here we go. Oh wow, well that was a close call for them. That was literally an artillery shell right beside them. Right, let's get off the docks because it looks like the docks are blowing up like mad. Oh my, whoa. Uh, apparently... To glory. Apparently Comrade Stalin wants us to retake the uh, city, so... Okay, I guess the uh, first mission is support the T-34 tank. Wow, talk about some of these strafing runs. Uh, guys, my... I think my graphics are running a little bit slow. I think it's okay now. Weird. I've got a GTX 680. It shouldn't be happening. Anyway, support the uh, tank. Let's just go kill a bunch of guys. I think that's what they mean by supporting them. It looks like a whole bunch of my guys didn't fare too much better. Uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for them. Did you guys see that? Uh, did you guys see that? They, they were sending in guys with no weapons. You know, I guess you can't really act surprised about it because that's actually what what, what happened, but it's crazy to think about it when you see it. Uh, so anyway, the game's already teaching you the all the basic mechanics of what the game is about. You know, cover system, taking cover behind tanks, you got green cover, yellow cover, so on and so forth. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't take cover behind that T-34 right there. I don't know what would have happened to me. Uh, so right, let's... <laughs> We had we did very good support of that T-34. We definitely came kept him alive. Comrade Stalin would be proud. All right, so we've got uh, our first in, just engagements here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we should just keep on charging, non-stop charging. Sure to be waiting. The fascists are well dug in. 
but their persistence is no match for Soviet zeal and our overwhelming numbers. Do not be discouraged by a few losses. Kill these fascists and show no mercy. Heavy machine guns north of the breach. They have the main route covered. Yeah, that, that is definitely a kill zone. There we go. Okay. So eliminate the MG. That's, that's what it wants us to do. So I guess we can flank. Flanking around that route would have been valid as well, but... Who cares, we can just go this way. Happy days, happy days. Uh, take some cover, because we were no company heroes already. But yeah, like, the guy was basically... The guy was basically describing, uh... Don't, don't worry if you take a few losses. You know, just a, just a few. Just a few. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit worried here with that number of losses. Okay, anyway, so let's move on. We've got an ability here which allows us to keep walking and firing in short bursts, and that'll just suppress the target. MG cleared. Uh huh. Good. We've cleared it on up. And now everyone is retreating. Everyone is retreating just because an MG went down. Those fucking howitzers are going to annihilate our troops. Move up, locate, and destroy them quickly. Uh huh. Okay, we can get more squads as well. See, we got a call in. So, in typical Russian fashion, we're trying to overwhelm by numbers. Uh, destroy the German howitzers. So let's. Okay. So the German howitzers there are two. I think. Could do you think we can multitask? I think we might be able to do it. Let's go grab this uh, MG42, that light MG42, and let's go kill a whole bunch of guys here. These uh these Germans they don't do as much damage as they normally do in in multiplayer because there's no way you'd be massacring like all these guys uh, th this fast. It's it's kind of reminiscent of Rambo uh, right now. But anyway, so let's move our ways around the field. Let's hotkey our guys and this guy over there. This guy. Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah, yeah I, I realize that one gun is down. Can we merge squads? No, we can't. We can't merge squads. That is a little bit upsetting. Okay, so this guy is looking like he's going to be the bait. Let's call another squad out onto the field. And pop these up again. Ooh. Everyone. Grenades. Now. See, he's the bait squad, so they're alright if they die. Come on, I want to see that grenade. Good. Good. That's how we do it. And defending soldiers left. Rescue the trapped civilians. Okay, okay. I need to figure out where the trapped civilians are. Comrade, get out of the line of sight. Your shock troops cannot damage that tank. Ah. Any soldiers left? Okay, I don't think I have an infinite amount of soldiers as I've actually been planning. Uh, I don't think I was. I don't think I was keeping a note of this stuff up here. Defending soldiers. Ah, oh, I see. I need to save these guys. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Lots and lots of grenades. They seem to be working very well. So it's not actually my own guys I'm trying to save, I'm trying to save these guys! Okay, throw a grenade here. Uh, grenades are nice. Grenades are honestly your best friend in this campaign. Comrade! Comrades! Stalin has sent us to save you. Good. 
Yeah, we've pretty much got him. We've pretty much got him. These guys are gonna be fine. Come on, die faster! There we go. Last of these Germans, and then we've got... Ah, no, this one's retreating. Here we go. Commander, it was not looking good. No, it wasn't. Get at the wounded. We'll take them to the river. Okay, well there you go. We saved the civilians. Look at that. Proper civilians. In what game? In what game out there do you get civilians? This is Company of Heroes 2. They make a lot of improvements, like adding refugees and civilians. Anyway, so we've got more squads out over here. Uh, time to do, probably do some flanking because we can't go up that way because as you can see it's kind of a bloodshed massacre at the moment. We've got guys <laughs> crawling away from that, from that area because it's so brutal. And look at all these guys. Alright, so how about we just do a frontal assault and we just drop loads of grenades because these grenades really do seem to be working quite well for us. Yeah, they're cleaning up that area pretty damn good I think. Capture AT gun. So I, gu I guess we're gonna kind of ignore this Panzer IV at the moment. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna kill some of you along the way, but I'm not gonna kill all of you. Oh, no, I can't go out there. I need to maybe make a flanking route. So bear with me here, guys. I'm gonna see if I can make a hole. And I can't. Okay. Right, scratch that. I can't make a hole. I'm going to have to flank around this way. Um, I think that's where the MG42 was, if I saw that right. So we're going to have to completely ignore this path, because it doesn't look like it's great to go that way. Uh, these guys, they're kind of piling up on top of each other, same with these ones, but... You know, I, I'm, I'm a superman, I'll be fine, okay? We need to blind it before we can attempt a flank. Ah, I didn't reach the uh, actual queue. I see. I see, okay, right. So, we'll <laughs> call down a smoke grenade. And then we'll clear it all out. There we go, okay. Yeah, 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 we're going, we're going, don't worry. Well, let's get that grenade down. My guys are still dying, despite, despite all this uh, stuff. Ah! And flanking route again. And now all my guys are stuck. Fantastic. I'm losing plenty of guys. <laughs> Come on, I could get one more grenade. Wow, they're not dying. Okay, so I lost a lot of guys. I lost actually a lot of guys. But, uh, no problem because Comrade's Down is provi <laughs> providing us plenty of. Preventing of. Plenty of them. Okay. Uh, AT gun. He's probably just thinking to himself, "Oh my God, why am I here right now?" Okay, now I need to capture it as well. All right. So my guys just made it onto the field. There we go. I'm gonna have to flank on over. Right click. Let's do a shift click because we haven't actually made it onto that part yet. But I'm shift clicking onto the various things. There we go. Pack is mine, and it's disabled. Okay. I agree. We're going to move it. And as you can see, I can't move through this area at the moment, so I'm gonna have to wait. I think this is. I'm supposed to wait until something major happens here, like this Panzer IV going down. There we go. Right in the behind. Boom. Oh, no damage. Quick, quick! Reload! Hurry! Oh! Perfect. Uh huh. They are hitting us from the air! Oh, wow.
Turn back and fight, damn you! Fire! They were warned! Now, attack! It's just me or some of the voices missing or the subtitles not in sync. Oh well, that's a glitch. The voice isn't working. Deal with those machine guns, Commander! A frontal assault is suicide! You will attack the German line, or you will die by my pistol! Now oh, thanks. I relish the honor of dying from your pistol. More men, that's all we need, more men! Come on, AT gun. I'm waiting for you here. Only all those heavy machine guns. Just take out, let's just throw grenades everywhere. If all this fails, throw grenades. Okay, right, so, heavy machine gun right over to the flank. Yeah, I realize that one of our troops have been lost. Quick, rush, rush! And throw that grenade, most importantly. Come on. There we go. You did your mission. And just call on more and more troops. That's all you need to do, just call on more troops. There's nothing to be afraid about. Uh, I actually want to kill this scout car here. It's kind of annoying me, this armored car. Oh well. Yeah, I agree! I want to destroy it. No! Come back! I'm doing it, we're, do we're doing it! Yeah! <laughs> Well, we definitely destroyed it. More guys, more guys. Oh, now that 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 Panzer IV, he is worried. All right, he is worried. It's like shit. AT guns everywhere. Ignore it. As if it's not there. Just attack the infantry. <laughs> okay. Yay! So is that the first mission? Yep, that is it. Mission complete. We got all the badges. Easy. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. So, let's see the rewards from that. Get a little bit of XP. Not a whole lot. I guess it's just because it's campaign. So, there you go. So, you get some nice little badges if you complete those side missions. It's important, I guess. Um, well, yeah, there we go, guys. That is the first mission. And until next video when I'm doing the second mission, I'll catch you guys later. Here we go. My Twitch, my Twitch chat isn't working. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Here's to the, uh, here's to the opening of <laughs> Company of Heroes 2. Um, many, many happy years to come from this, no doubt. I hope this song is actually a good song to accompany this opening, but here we go. Cheers, everyone. Massive Peroni. Fuck. There we go. <laughs>
Uh, it's my son, the drunk and madly star. Nebu! Do the biggest burp you possibly can, please. Sorry, what? Do the, do the biggest burp that you can possibly do because everyone needs to hear your roar. Hear me roar. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's good for I feel like celebrating the launch of the game and shit. I feel like throwing up. Sam B. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete.